Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless each and every one of you, brothers and sisters. For those of you that are just stopping for the first time, you are welcome. Returners, you are blessed. Hallelujah. May the Lord continue to strengthen you. May the Lord continue to guide you. Hallelujah. To his name be all the glory. Today, I will be talking about the second coming of Jesus Christ. Our Lord, he is warning us. He is telling us, be careful, prepare yourself because you don't know what day I'm coming. I'm coming back soon. Prepare yourself. Don't be without oil in your lamp. Hallelujah. It is very important. Search for the Lord at all times. In the book of Revelation chapter 3, verse 20 and 21 is saying, For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart, and knoweth all things. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence towards God. Hallelujah. If our heart will not condemn us, that means we have confidence in our Lord. If you are feeling yourself condemned, the Lord said to you, He is greater than your heart. The Lord is asking us to come to Him. He is knocking. He is knocking and if we open our heart, He will stay in us because our body is the temple of the Most High God. Hallelujah. For those of you that are watching and you have not yet made peace with the Lord, it is important to make peace with the Lord. And for those of you that have accepted Christ as Lord and Savior, your heart must not condemn you. It is the work of the enemy. You must feel free in the Lord. No matter how long people have been announcing the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, you must be prepared. Even though it has been over 2,000 years, but you don't know in what condition you will be when you take the last breath. The Lord said he is coming and we know those that died in Christ, they will rise the first. We must know in what condition that we are living in because any time, any hour could be the last for us. Even though Jesus come today or he come tomorrow or even after our death, he will come back one day. Hallelujah. We must be very careful about it. In the book of Matthew, chapter 23, verse 36 to 39, is saying, Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets, and stone them which are sent to thee. How often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chicks under her wings, and he would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. Hallelujah. We know how people are rejecting prophets. They are rejecting all those the Lord will send to speak to them. As we can see, in some of the churches, people will refuse to hear what the prophets will say, all what the Lord wants to say to them, all those that the Lord will send to talk to them. We can also see how some of the churches are getting empty. They are the ones chasing all those the Lord will send unto them. So we will continue to see what the Word of God is saying in verse 39. For I say unto you, he shall not see me henceforth, till he shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. The Lord is asking us to welcome all those that is coming in his name. We are not supposed to chase them away. We are not supposed to chase them away. By doing so, one day, the Lord will ask us the blood of these people. All those that are going astray, 
the Lord will question us about them. What did you do for them? How did you treat them when I sent them among you? The pastors, the leaders have a role to play because the Lord is saying, I sent prophets to you and you killed them, you stoned them to death. Hallelujah. So be very careful about it. In the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 1 to 14, you can read it, people of God. I will try just to explain it. The word of God is saying to us in these verses that one day Jesus said to his disciples, a day will come where all the houses that they are seeing, they will all be destroyed. So they came to Jesus privately asking him, when will all these things happen? Jesus said to them, be very careful and let no one deceive you. Many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ, and people will be deceived by them. And the Lord said to them, be careful, don't let yourself be deceived. We ourselves, we must be very careful. The Lord has been warning us. There are false prophets. Hallelujah. The Lord said to them, they will deliver you to be killed. They will also kill those that want to serve me. They will kill them. Those that want to serve the Lord, they are the one being accused. They are the one being left behind. The Lord warned us about it. The Lord told his disciples about it. And these words are still for us today. When you want to do the will of God, you want to walk in sanctification, be prepared for war. Because that's when they will fight you. They will fight you because of the name of Jesus. Because you want to live a sanctified life. They will fight you. They will accuse you. Hallelujah. The Lord said to his disciples, be very careful. And he told them what would happen to them. Verse 13 is saying, But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So the Lord is saying the gospel of the kingdom of God shall be preached all over the world and then shall be the end. We must preach the gospel of the last days. We must prepare people for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord said you must preach the gospel of the kingdom of heaven and then the end will come. We must preach the return of Jesus to walk in sanctification. And the Lord is asking us to offer our body as a living sacrifice, pure and holy. People are still making you think that you can live the way that you wish and you will be saved because at the end you will call the name of the Lord. The Lord is asking us to prepare ourselves for his coming. We must prepare ourselves. We must walk in the way of Christ. We must walk as children of light. Hallelujah. We must do the right thing because we know the truth. We can only please God by obeying his voice. Hallelujah. The word of God is saying to us again in Matthew chapter 24, verse 36 to 44. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came, and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Hallelujah. I'll not go any further, people of God, but you can continue to read from verse 40 to 44. Hallelujah. The Lord is saying he will come just like when the flood came on the people. They were dancing, eating, and they were not paying attention. They didn't believe in what Noah was saying. 
they didn't trust him. But they continued to live as they pleased. The Lord sent Noah to warn them, but no one didn't listen to Noah, only the members of his household. And it is still happening now. The Lord is sending his prophets to warn his people, but they are not paying attention. The Lord is saying, be careful. Hallelujah. Our Lord, he is still warning us today. We must be very careful about it. So as you are still watching this video, take a little time to subscribe for those that have not taken time to subscribe. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you as you do so. May his name be glorified in your life. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we'll continue to see what the word of God is saying to us. In the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 26 and 27 is saying, And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from the untermost part of the earth to the untermost part of heaven. Hallelujah. The Lord will send his angels to gather his elect. The Lord will gather his people. As we are seeing that the Lord is sending some people to preach the gospel, the Lord wants to gather his people. The Lord is coming soon, people of God. When I started making videos on YouTube, people of God, I already give that testimony. But one day the Lord said to me, now you know how to upload video on YouTube. I want you to encourage my people. I want you to warn my people. I want you to give your testimony and tell them what I did for you. The Lord showed me a dream and the Lord showed me that I was gathering his people. I took them from afar off and we were in a great garden going up the hill together to wait for the Lord, for the Lord to put that white robe on each and every one of us. People of God, the Lord is preparing his people for his coming. The Lord is saying to us, get ready, I'm coming soon. Please don't take this teaching for granted. Prepare yourself for the second coming of the Most High God. We don't know what day we will be taking the last breath. We don't know what day will be the last day for us, even before the second coming of Jesus Christ. Get ready. Be prepared for his coming. One day he will come back for us, people of God. Hallelujah. I know I'm in the will of God. I know I'm doing the right thing, people of God. No matter what people might say, no matter what they might do. I know I'm not perfect, but the Lord is asking me, Vicky, you yourself also be prepared for my second coming. Hallelujah. To our God be all the glory. Hallelujah. Because he loves us so much, he don't want to lose any one of us, people of God. He don't want to lose his children. Hallelujah. In the book of John, chapter 5, verse 28 and 29, is saying, Do not marvel at this, for an hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice. But those who have done good to resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. Hallelujah. One day, we will hear his voice and those that are in the tombs will hear his voice also hallelujah so as we can see our lord he is warning us people of god in the book of hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 and 28 he said and just as it is appointed for man to die once so christ was sacrificed wants to take away the sins of many and after he will appear a second time 
not to bear sins, but to bring salvation to those who are waiting for him. Hallelujah to his name. Be all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, my God, my King. You can also read from Matthew chapter 24, verse 25 to 31. Hallelujah. So we must prepare ourselves for the second coming of Jesus Christ. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. Every day we must live like it is the last day. Every day we must live as if it is the day that Jesus will return. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the book of Revelation, chapter 16, verse 15 is saying, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garment, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Hallelujah. The Lord is saying, He will come just like a thief in the night. We must keep on watching and we must keep our garment. Our garment has to be properly kept. Remember what the word of God said to us about the ten virgins. Five of them had oil in the lamp and the five others, their lamps were dry. We must not be like the five of them that had no oil in our lamp must keep on burning. We must stay in the light. We cannot stay in darkness because we don't know at what hour, at what time the Lord will come. You can read this in the book of Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 to 15. Hallelujah. The Lord wants us to be prepared. May the Lord continue to bless you, my sister. Remember, if you have not taken a little time to subscribe, Take some time to subscribe to support this ministry. We are preaching the gospel of the last days. The Lord is coming to search for his people. So encourage me, people of God, by subscribing to this channel. You can share a video. You can encourage someone else. In that way, you are working also for the kingdom of heaven. No matter if you are the one making a video or if you can share a video, it is the same thing. May the Lord bless you in advance. Hallelujah. You can also continue to read this chapter up to verse 30. With the gift that the Lord has given to you, you can help others. We are not there to do our own will, but the will of our Heavenly Father. May the Lord continue to bless you, my brother, my sister. Hallelujah. The word of God said, the one that had just one talent, and he decided to hide it. And after he said, I went and hide it because I was afraid. The spirit of fear is not from God. If the Lord gives you a gift and the Lord has put on your heart what he wants you to do, the Lord has communicated to your spirit. And afterwards you will say, well, I am afraid of what people will say about me. I am afraid of this. I am afraid of that. You are afraid of everything. My brother, my sister, that spirit of fear is not from your heavenly father. That spirit of fear is the limitation of the enemy. It is what the enemy has put in your life to imprison you. You must set yourself free because the Lord said, I have given you the power, the power to crush all the works of the enemy, the power to take control over your life. The power to condemn all what they will say about you, all negative, all negative words. The Lord has given you his power. The Lord has not given us a spirit of fear. If you are still feeling that you are afraid, the spirit of God is not perfect in you. You must search for deliverance. Call upon the name of the Lord and he will deliver you. The Lord said, when you call upon his name with faith, he will answer you. That spirit of fear is not from God. That spirit of laziness, it is not from the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord wants you to grow in your calling. The Lord wants you to grow 
Hallelujah. The Lord wants you to be bold, my brother, my sister. So may the Lord deliver you today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. We will see what the word of God is saying to us in the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 31 to 34. Hallelujah. The word of God is saying to us, But when the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all the nations, and he shall separate them one from another. As the shepherd separateth the sheep from the goats, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. The king say unto them on his right hand, Come, he blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom he prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Hallelujah, people of God. The Lord is coming back for his chosen ones. To his name be all the glory. So we will see a last verse before I say goodbye for today. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 10. The word of God is saying, The day of judgment is here, your destruction awaits. The people's wickedness and pride have blossomed to full flower. Hallelujah. So those that did evil, the Lord will repay them according to what they did. Hallelujah. May the Lord continue to bless you, my brother, my sister. We are waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because he said, I am going to the Father and I will prepare a place for you. The Lord, he went and prepared a place for us. Stay blessed always in the Lord. This is Prophetess Vicky saying goodbye for today. May the Lord continue to strengthen you, my brother, my sister. We are waiting for the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Goodbye for today. Stay blessed always.